Thanks for stopping by our YouTube channel. This is Christian Posta from Solo.io. And in this quick video, we're going to take a look at Kiali in Istio 1.7 and ways to secure the Kiali web console. So definitely check out our YouTube channel. We have a lot of content there around service meshes, around Envoy, and some of the series of, uh, of videos that we're doing around understanding Envoy and uh, some of the depths of Istio uh, functionality and some of the stuff that we're building around Istio to help folks operationalize a service mesh in their environments. So again, we're gonna take a look at uh, Kiali and Istio 1.7. Now, an important thing to know is that in Istio 1.7, if we take a look at the various deployment models, rather not the deployment models, the um, where is it? <laughs> Install. Here we go. The configuration profiles. If we look at the different profiles. In Istio 1.7, things have changed quite a bit. So the default profile installs Ingress Gateway and Istio D control plane, as we know. But the demo profile no longer installs Prometheus, Grafana, Kiali, and those types of things. So to do that, we're actually going to have to look in the Operations tab and the Integrations tab and see how we can install these additional components and if we look closely, we'll see in the release, those things have moved to the samples slash add-ons folder. So when we install Istio, so let's do that. Let's install Istio 1.7. Let's make sure that is indeed what we're running. If we do an install of Istio, actually, hold on. Let's do profile equal to demo. All right, so Istio 1.7. We'll install the demo profile and we'll see that uh, we'll also need to add some of these components ourselves. Okay, so if we take a look at um, first installing Prometheus, we know that we have to go to samples, add ons. And we see that, we see it there. So let's do Prometheus. Oh, we got to go there. Prometheus, we want to install Prometheus. Now let's check out our, so first of all, notice that we have Prometheus running here, but we also, this is the demo profile, right? We don't have any Prometheus or Kiali or Grafana or any of these extra things installed, right? So that's the first thing to notice. The second thing to notice is we need to create a namespace for the Kiali operator. So uh, I do recommend that you take a look at the Kiali documentation um, around, whoop, around installation and it'll go into more details about um, installing Kiali on top of Istio, but with the add-on that comes with, um, here we go, Kiali, the uh, add-on that comes with Istio, we're just gonna install it, and that does use, uh, let's do it again because the CRDs take a second to register. Um, it, it uses the Kiali operator under the cover. So if we come back here to our canines, we should, First, see that the Kali operator is created, that the operator is running, and that in the Istio system, that's eventually, if we give it a second, there we go, Kiali will then come to life. Now, in previous versions of Istio, when you installed Kiali, Kiali could be configured with a username and password, uh, known as the login, quote unquote, if we come to the docs, login. Um, uh, configuration. But it's important to know that that is going away. The login strategy here is deprecated along with the LDAP strategy and will be going away. In this demo, what we're going to take a look at is 
a couple of different of the login options. So let's let's go ahead and um, take a look at our at our demo. So let's go here. And uh, yeah, I think that should be good. Okay, the first thing we want to do, let's let's get a, a Firefox going here. And let's get the Kiali dashboard up and running. Yeah, there we go. We can see we can we have access to Kiali. We have access to the different Istio configs, everything in the service graph, although we don't have anything deployed. Um, and it's all good. First thing to note is that we have this new Kiali resource, this CRD, which drives the Kiali operator. If we take a look at what's existing and what's there, we should see among some of the other cube 1.18 things, uh, the spec right here, the default strategy for Kiali out of the box with Istio 1.7 is anonymous, which is, you can see when I came to it, it uh, it didn't challenge me for any anything security related. So let's say we do want to add some security. We can look at some of these different uh, strategies. So we have the anonymous, which is default. If you're running an OpenShift, you have that. Token base, which is similar to the Kubernetes da dashboard and OpenID. We're going to take a look at OpenID and, and the token based um, uh, authentication right now. So let's see, what should the Kiali config? Remember the Kiali object here, what should it look like? It will look exactly the same, except we're gonna specify the auth strategy to be token. So let's apply that. So we've configured that the operator should pick it up. And if we go here to our canines again, we'll give it a second and the operator should restart Kiali with this new security setting. And now we see that it is starting to do that. We'll give it a second for the uh, Kiali pod to come down and then back up. And it looks like it's up now. So now if I come back here to Firefox, and I hit the Kiali, we should, there we go. So now we're challenged, right? We can't just go to it, we're challenged. We have to, we have to add a token and get a token going in there. And what, the, what the, the, the approach for doing the token is based on the tokens that are created for a service account. So we're gonna create a service account. We're gonna call it Kiali Dashboard. And I'm gonna create a role binding that binds this service account to certain permissions. So you can use this for, uh, you can leverage RBAC in Kubernetes, uh, especially around what namespaces and things that you're allowed to see by using this, uh, this role binding. And so from here we have that. So now let's, um, let's actually go ahead and get the token. The token is going to come from the secret that's associated with that particular, um, that particular token that's, uh, the, or rather the secret that's part of this, uh, service account. And so we can see the token here. If I grab that token and add it, if I click login, don't save. There we go. We're we're back to the Kiali UI. So that's using the auth strategy of token. Right. So now we want to integrate with not token but uh, an OIDC provider. So if we take a look at the config for oh. Uh, I guess it isn't there. We're going to do this by, by hand. Uh, for the OIDC provider, we're specifying the strategy of uh, OpenID, and then we're giving it some uh, some credentials, uh, or rather configuration. Now we're going to map this, uh, the, the user uh, claim from the token um, of email into our RBAC. So we're going to do something very similar. And since my automated demo uh, didn't cooperate with me. We're going to have to do this manually. What we're going to do is we're going to create another role binding and we're going to bind a user that has been uh, defined in the OIDC or the 
um, identity provider with this particular email, we'll, we'll bind it to a particular row binding and we'll give it the privileges of, that, that Kiali has and the RBAC that Kiali has. So we can tie our OIDC identities to the RBAC in Kubernetes and leverage that in Kiali. So let's, um, well, first of all, let's go ahead and apply. Well, let's, let's create that. Oop. Let's create that. And then let's also apply the OIDC. Oop. The OIDC. What? Mm. Did we apply it already? Let's. Oh, I see. I see. I see what happened. Okay. That's no, all good. So let's then come back here and we should see the. Um, we should see the, the Kiali operator restart Kiali once again for the OADC changes to take effect. And now we see that happening. Give that a moment. And cross your fingers, there we go. Come back here again to the console, we're not logged in anymore. Now we're challenged with a login to log in with open ID connect. So if I click on that, it should take us to our open ID provider. In this case, I'm just using Dex. If I do password here, so I'm gonna log in, click login, cross fingers here, looks good. We logged in, we can see the user here. And this user is bound to the role binding that we created in this screen right here by its user uh, email and uh, is associated with the permissions that are associated with the Kiali role. So that's it for this demo. Uh, definitely check out Istio 1.7 when uh, it comes out in a week or so. And check out the Solo YouTube channel where we go into more detail about uh, Service Mesh. And, um, and again, I'm Christian Posta. Definitely reach out to me specifically if you have questions to solo in general, join our Slack, uh, slack.solo.io. And, uh, and yeah, look forward to the next video. Thanks.